What you're about to experience is a free, worldwide, interactive broadcast from Ontario, Canada. We broadcast live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Get your questions in. Join the community chat room at www.category5.tv or email us at live at category5.tv. And now, let's begin. Here's your host, Robbie Ferguson. Welcome to episode number 167 of Category 5 Technology TV. I'm your host, Robbie Ferguson. He's laughing because he's like, this isn't an episode. <laughs> oh, it's the an e episode, the all episode right. The episode was before <laughs> we started. <laughs> wow. Welcome to, uh, to our dynamic broadcast this evening. We are the dynamic duo, well, trio. Trio, yeah. Well, you're with us, too. How are you doing, Eric? I am well. Good, good. And uh, just happy to be here and glad to be alive. Anybody joining us in the chat room? Follow Kid Eric on uh, on Twitter. Oh come on! I not tweets, twits, for many days. Me no tweet long time. Me no tweet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I haven't tweeted since I uh, forced those uh, things in a can down your throat. <laughs> okay. Hi. Kids. Question. Anybody here follow me on Twitter? And if you do. You'll understand these bags under my eyes. How do you like those? No, I wasn't punched out, although I feel like it. <laughs> Becca did indeed have the baby. Everybody's healthy and doing well. <laughs> so tonight we are going to do our best. It is getting a little long. Yep. Cheers. Some folks are wondering about Robbie's hair. Hey, Chris. <laughs> You have no idea what I've been through this week. There's a little bit of... I don't know if you can hear that or not, but not quite as much as you. But uh, I shaved just, yeah. just before. It looks like it. Under here? And oh, right under there? Here. Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I shaved the underside of my arms. We'll That's see. about it. Yeah. So well. anyway, so <laughs> thanks everybody in the chat room. So tonight, flat out honest, we didn't think tonight's show was going to go through. And <laughs> we still have our doubts. But uh, I've basically stuck to the fact that we've never missed a show, regardless of So scenario. we thought we'd come in and say hi. So we're here. <laughs> we literally are here to say hello. We may not be able to address many questions tonight. We may have to cut the, the, uh, the show short. There are so many variables that we don't even know about. But I'm here. Eric's here. Hillary's here. And it's great to have you here as well. And I hope. All of our American friends had a lovely Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. Um, and further to the Americans, I'm just wearing my golden shirt. And you do remember the 2010 Olympics, don't you? The Winter Olympics? Oh, sure I do. Yeah, that was Canada, 3-2. Because I'm way into In sports, overtime. As you know. At, at, at 7.40. 7.40, I was doing my show. That was 7.40 in overtime. Oh, okay. 740. <laughs> 7 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Gadwill Office wants me to just leave the set, and uh, you and Hillary are going to take over. Gotta All right. Show. Hillary, how are you doing? Hey, world. I am doing fabulous here at my remote location for Category 5. Congratulations, Ferguson Clan, for Thanks, the new buddy. baby. Very exciting. And also what's exciting is what's coming up in the newsroom. I don't know if you guys can handle it. The makers of Ubuntu have announced seven new software partners. And Vancouver's Hootsuite service has hit the million user mark. And lastly, Microsoft Connect is blowing early Sony movies, move sales out of the water. So stay tuned for the latest news from the Category 5 TV newsroom. Thanks, Hillary. You keeping well out there at school? Oh, yeah. School's yeah. fabulous. Learning lots. It's great. Very it's very good. Straight A's or is it party time? Oh, you know how it is, you know. <laughs> I I go to school, I go to class, it's all good. She's the good, <laughs> she's the good girl. Okay. So, leave it at that. Okay. Good one, Hill. Nice, nice response. You gotta keep Eric clean. I'm fairly <laughs> well behaved, I thought. <laughs> fairly well. Fairly well behaved. Cheers. Well, nice to have you here, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll check in with Hillary in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll see how far we can get into the show as well. Um, so... If you're new here, if you've never joined us on Category I'm 5... I'm new here. Yeah, well... Yeah. You know how things roll around here, though. And for those of you who aren't too sure about our usual format, tonight we are not sticking to it, and we are not... Um, we're just kind of here just so that 
I can hold hold up my reputation of never missing a show. And, and never just, missed a I show. I just I couldn't I couldn't miss a show on you. But really, it's hard to be here, and and everybody's upstairs. I've been uh, kind of playing Mr. Mum uh, for the past since <laughs> Thursday. It was Thursday night. If you're following on Twitter, um, some people mentioned that uh, it was really quite cool to be able to follow the uh, the, the birth uh, on my Twitter account. But uh, really, have have not had a lot of time to uh, to do anything but take care of the kids, driving my daughter to school. It's 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 amazing how much my wife fits into a day. It's incredible. My goodness. Yeah. So as far as tonight's show goes, we're gonna uh, do our best to answer your questions in the chat room and just kind of hang out, have a good time, uh, and uh, we'll just kind of we're here. So ask you to join us at Category Five TV. And again, if you're new here, please, 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 please. Do visit our website, Category5.tv, and check out some uh, some of our broadcasts as well. What, are you saying sometimes the show is a little more content-rich? That's definitely a possibility. Okay. You know that one night a week where you're really, really feeling tired, so you make craft dinner and uh, and hot dogs for dinner? Nice. <laughs> craft dinner, mac macaroni and cheese, for those of you who uh, are, are not familiar with craft dinner. Um, <laughs> that's that's kind of tonight. They this craft is like, dinner in the States, too. But I don't know if they have it in the... That can be our poll for tonight. Yeah. That can be our conversation KD, starter. does everyone out there know what craft dinner is? <laughs> okay. Well, a reminder for you that uh, if you're not presently registered on the Category5.tv website, tonight is your last chance. Go to our website right now. It's Category5.tv. Get registered for free. <coughs> I don't mean that it's your last chance to register. You're going to be able to register beyond tonight. Uh, but uh, we are uh, going into lockdown starting tomorrow morning. So uh, basically at midnight, it's uh, December 1st lockdown. So our site is going to be not accepting any new registrations for the next, uh, for the next month. So January 1st when our new site launches. Here's the kicker. If you're registered already, or if you're not registered and you get registered before the end of tonight's show or before uh, we actually go into lockdown tonight, um, then you're going to actually your account is going to be imported into the new website, and at that time there are going to be some Category Five viewer points attributed to your account at random intervals. So some people are going to see as many as 15 Category Five view, viewer points. Some people, a few, maybe the lucky ones who see upwards of 50 uh, Category Five viewer points. What those are are uh, web-based points that are going to be a part of our new website. And those can be redeemed for ballots in order to uh, win awesome hardware, such as uh, as the printers that we give away, nano dots, and um, somebody things like took my nano the pogo dots. plug. Did they? I had a set. You probably I was were thinking you said I fidgeted too much, and then you them gave them away. Oh yeah, you gave them away. Sorry, on man. the show. I just knew that uh, that I couldn't ever let you see them on the air again. They were, in fact, pretty <laughs> cool beans. Way to change the subject. Oh, sorry. Oh. But you can get onto our website, register tonight. It's category5.tv if you're not already registered. Even if you registered two years ago, three years ago, you're still going to get those points. So don't worry about it. If you're already registered, you are a part of that system. You're going to get a notification uh, email when the new system is uh, put into place. But with those points, right off the bat, you're going to be able to redeem them for ballots, uh, for downloadable software. You'll be able to get commercial software for free. Uh, as downloads using your your uh, your category five viewer points things like that you'll be able to get discounts from various different vendors uh, coupon codes and things like that so definitely you want to uh, you want to be a part of this and certainly down you know if you're not able to make it tonight if you're watching this after the show and you realize that the site is already in lockdown and uh, and it's not an opportunity for you to get those free points uh, there will be tons of opportunities for you to win free points as well uh, in the future once we launch our new website so this is a, a good way for everybody who's registered to to get a nice little head start with uh, you know with a, hands, a handful of uh, viewer points cool. I used to have a handful of nano dots oh. what is it with you and nano dots honestly they're gone they're cool but you are like a nano nut I f which reminds me, I found a, an interesting website. I don't know if I could find it tonight while we're actually on the air. Not likely. You can't show that on air. Oh. You don't know from joke. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I probably wouldn't be able to. Yeah. And this is the way tonight's no show is dots. going to go. No, don't, because I, I don't know where it okay. is. But there, okay. was, there was a website. I will show it on a future show. It's really, really cool. It's like people who are totally obsessed with nanodots, i.e. But they put together the most incredible creations, photograph them, and put them up online. And then they smash them. No. They really do. Okay. But when you've spent that much time putting something together that is ridiculous, you probably <laughs> don't want to smash it right away. Okay. Hi, everybody. Watching the chat room, Category5.tv. Uh, you can join us on Freenode at Category5 uh, is the name of the chat room. Uh, VK7HSE, Scott, is uh, just telling, uh, telling you that being a nano nut is better than being just a nut. You think? Just okay. putting that out there. All right. Thanks for the thoughts. <laughs> Cool. No. I don't think you're going to really find much in email. I don't think I have a whole lot of new <laughs> questions here. Because that's from last week. Mm -hmm. That's the nature of tonight's show. So this is this broadcast tonight is for the diehard Category 5 viewers who love to be here. I like having a, sharing a coffee with their friends and here. And can hear my kids screaming upstairs and, and don't mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just the week that we've had. It's been... Uh, it's been um, Quite an adventure the past week, I'll tell you. I've got a couple of pictures that I'll be sharing with you in just a little bit, if you'd like to see the baby. And of course you can follow me at twitter.com slash Robbie Ferguson and get more pictures there as well. I'm going to try to get into email here and see what we can come up with. All right. Does that sound good? You had any pictures of Robbie with a little bit of spittle on his lapel? Or? None yet. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm always the one taking the pictures at this point. You can email your questions live at category5.tv or probably tonight best thing to do would be to get in the chat room uh, just because we are kind of, uh, it's going to be a challenge for us to stay on top of email and things tonight. Um, if you send something to the attention of Eric Kidd, that, uh, that will probably be noticed. <laughs> Robbie, hey. would you happen to know what ports are needed to access Ubuntu repositories? Hmm. Hmm. I've never really thought about it being outside of port 80. Good question, Gadwell. So, we can find that out fairly quickly. I'm sure. I'm just doing a quick search for um, apt get port. Port 80 if over HTTP. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, and, and then would it be under SSL or otherwise? It would be standard, uh, as far as I thought. I've never <laughs> really had well, that thought. Well, it's port 80 if it's over uh, HTTP. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's over FTP. It l looks like app just uses standard ports, as I would have thought. So you'd be looking at port 80 for HTTP, right? Standard. Uh, you'd be looking at, uh, is it 443 for secure? Port 21 if it's FTP? I can't say for sure. I'm going to be careful if I say anything, because then yeah. if I'm wrong, then people laugh at me. Well, Gadget Wisdom Guru is upset with you. Is he? What did I do? Well, you told him he should probably run out and buy a, uh, you know, a Netgear gigabit uh, replacement router. Sure. So he went Which and spent, one did he get? He went and spent money. And oh. it's all on your shoulders. He hasn't even set it up yet, though. He haven't set it up? He hasn't even set it up yet. Oh. You set it up, and once the joy kicks in, <laughs> then yeah, you no can comments until the joy kicks yeah, you, in. You can't comment until that kicks in. The utter bliss. But you inspired him. <laughs> That's great. Which uh, which model did he get? Interesting to know. He did not tell <laughs> me what uh, model. The one that I got, the 3500, I think it was. I went with instead of the 3700, which was recommended, uh, because I don't need dual band. I don't have any devices on my network that use dual band. I do not even like Wi-Fi. 
I probably will if I get like a tablet or something like that. Okay. I'll love it. As far as uh, reliability of Wi-Fi, I just uh, I don't really like to use Wi-Fi at all. So yeah. um, that's that's me. Because like we get a lot of interference here. There's just no open channels here, and so oh, you're always you were talking with about your kids. No, <laughs> um, even even our microphones we sometimes yeah. get some interference with, and we just have this problem where there, there's so much interference in in this area downtown core that uh, it's just I couldn't yeah. I've never really relied on wireless, so I went with the non dual band, saved myself ten bucks. There you go, ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks is ten bucks. What did you spend it on? I haven't spent it yet. Okay, because it never existed. <laughs> <laughs> Ubuntu uh, repositories are uh, merely websites, so right. So I guess port we're talking 80. port eighty. Yeah, unless it's FTP, it'll be port twenty-one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And Pyro's Rock uh, is is sad because his Netgear is an unsupported router. Oh. We're all sad now. Absolutely. We had a Debbie Downer. Us. Yeah. Now we're the whole, the whole world is sad now. Pyrus Rock. So uh, for uh, HTTPS, mm -hmm. apparently it's port four forty three. Didn't I s did I say that? You may have, but okay. I was paying attention to uh, Gadwill instead. Uh, yeah, I understand. Gadwill's a much nicer guy. <laughs> and better looking. <laughs> much better looking. <laughs> hey, Hillary. Hillary, don't you don't you don't you respond? Okay. <laughs> you do not have to feel obligated. <laughs> I'll just smile and nod. That's pretty much what you have to do with this guy over right next to me here. It's kind of what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to get some questions in the chat room, and I'm I'm looking at the uh, at uh, email here, um, which we. Uh, I know that there are some questions there. It's just kind of sorting through what's uh, what's relevant and and what is. Uh, we get a lot of spam. <laughs> we get a lot of spam, people. As soon as you put a live broadcast on the air, you get a lot of spam. You. I was going to make some comment, and I thought better of it. Oh yeah. Was it Monty yeah. Python, or was it? Well, it was just else? to do with spam. No, it was not anything to do with spam a lot. <laughs> Um, GWG Gadget Wisdom Guru has a WNR3500L. Same one I bought, buddy. Okay. Are you going to DDWRT it? Just like I did? Make sure you read about um, what to do there. You have to use um, a very specific <laughs> version of DDWRT if you do decide to do that. Okay. What's up? And this is just a comment. Uh, Gad will, uh, is not really sure he's better looking, but uh, he's a lot younger and has more hair. Oh, sorry, I'm just, just. <clears throat> that does not take much. No, I'm not, I'm not an old guy. So, you know, that, that's, that's a variable, but you, you, you could be. You and could Chris Wright does You're point out, you're a Canadian and you have all your teeth, so that's pretty good looking. <laughs> <laughs> pretty all right. He doesn't play hockey. I, I have mean, all my teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't play hockey very well. Okay. But if I were a real hockey were, player. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got I, I I thought, you know, here's a couple of I'm getting a lot of email about Planet Calypso. You can get information about the, the game at uh, cat five dot TV slash calypso. You can download the free client there. Harry Belafonte, Calypso? Music? No, sorry. I'll stop. Yeah, please do, otherwise I'm going to have to pay royalties. <laughs> I think that song's public domain by now. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we do have a question. <laughs> oh, good. How do you troubleshoot your wireless drivers he in Ubuntu? He was not even listening to me. 10.04. He wasn't even 4. listening to me. Well, I did hear How, something about that Calypso. What does Planet Calypso? And then I went off on a Harry Belafonte tangent. And then all of a sudden, your brain... <laughs> Back in the questions. <laughs> oh, look, a squirrel. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. This metal plate is getting that interference <laughs> I was talking about earlier. Okay. I'll <laughs> just Depends on what the issue is, Greg, in Texas. Um, if you're having uh, 
if you're having like interference issues, I love DDWRT because I can I can run a scan <coughs> on all of the uh, nearby networks, find out what ports uh, or pardon me which channels are being saturated, so that I can kind of pick the best channel for my router. As far as uh, on your computer end, depends on what your issue is, but certainly a lot of help in the chat room here and uh, a lot of help at uh, Ubuntu forums as well. But <laughs> that's a wide open question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wide open question. What were you talking? I was. <laughs> back sorry. to Planet Calypso. <laughs> I got an interesting one from Lance Man. It says, uh, I just joined Entropia Universe, Planet Calypso. I wasn't able to find any way to make money or gain skills. Can you give me some info on that? Also, you uh, gave some info on how to contact Stay you in the game. Stay in school? Oh. Also, you gave some info about how to contact you, meaning me, in the game. Could you please review that as well? Interesting question, because Planet Calypso being a real cash-based economy in-game, it's, it's pretty revolutionary that uh, you can make money in the game doing jobs, virtual jobs, and then you can cash out, take that money. Once, <laughs> once you've made you know, the equivalent of 500 US dollars, you can withdraw that into your, your uh, bank account. So you can turn that into real wow. currency, right? So a lot of people go into the game thinking, okay, I'm going to make some money. I just heard about, uh, like you look at uh, Never Die, who bought a, a piece of land, uh, an asteroid, in fact, c took out a loan against his house from the bank. I have some swamp land in Florida. That, no, sorry. Well, the guy bought virtual land with uh, whatever against his house, right? $200,000 for this piece of virtual property that doesn't actually have any tangible value and just uh, and he's made I think it was per year he was making two hundred thousand dollars in taxes and things that people were paying wow. in order to go to his land on, in the game it's very much like a real economy and uh, it's a hundred thousand dollars I believe well he paid two hundred thousand but he just oh. sold it oh for it, I think it was closer to a hundred thousand dollars, or uh, yeah, I think it was like six hundred. Maybe it was a million dollars. It was like six hundred thousand dollars. Pardon me. That's what, sorry. <laughs> Jot's trying to confuse me. I think he he sold it for way more than he paid. Made a killing off of this thing. Okay, Jot's just correct me. He paid a hundred thousand dollars. That's and a then period that that's made hundred dollars with three decimal points. Yeah, but Jot's not from around here. Oh, okay. And then he made six hundred fifty thousand dollars in the sale. Oh, right. I was just giving an example. Jot actually knows this so stuff. So he can afford to buy a new router. He sure can. But that's absurd. So people, so people often are, are thinking, oh, well, I can make money in this virtual game. I could just you know, sit around eating pizza and chips and, but and is it become money? one of those guys. I mean, it is virtual money until you make enough to withdraw, and you can withdraw if you want. You can do what he's done, and he, he can use that money in real life. What? It's real money. Wow. Figure that out. One ped is equal to 10 cents. Ped being Project Entropia dollar. Okay. So if you put 10 bucks in, US dollars, you get 100 ped back. It's like 100 okay. bucks. You can buy stuff, you can invest, you can play the game, and hopefully you turn a profit. If not, it's cheap entertainment, right? You don't have to deposit, but you can if you want. I did that once. I should get into this. Well... So then, you know, you go through and you bought uh, a tool to do mining, and you go out and you do mining and you find crude oil, and then you flip that over and process it and sell it, and people use it to fuel their vehicles, and boom, wow. you've made a profit. So anyway, so, so then people think, well, let's play the game for that. I don't play the game for that, so I can't really give you much advice there. The advice I can give you is it's a game. Oh. Really. While some people do make money in the game, it can't be your motivation. You gotta just, you know, I go in and I'm, and I'm socialized and I love just hanging out with people. And I love just, you know, I love running around and realizing that... A virtual glass of wine and well, hang out. <laughs> That's funny you should say that because I met up with Jod in game one time and he had a bottle of wine. He popped the, yeah, I guess it was champagne, he popped oh. the cork and was spraying it all over the place and everything. Oh, okay. In the game. So... Yeah, definitely. So I'm just watching the chat room there. So anyway, so forgetting about the whole money thing, Lance Man, 
because you're probably not going to make enough money to really care. The, I think the point is that, like for me, for <laughs> for example, the whole time I've been playing for a couple years, I've put in like ten bucks. Okay. And I play, and it's and it's fun, and it's like that's renting two movies, and you don't have to do that, but it gives you a little bit of a boost because then you've got money in game and you can do stuff. So that's that's all fun, fun and good. If you're playing to to make money, it's very. I personally would think that's doubtful, unless you get really really good <coughs> and you skill, or you buy something that's worth a lot of money that you can sell for a lot of money. Um, you can buy things when they're cheap, and you can make a little bit. Like you could buy vehicles. For example, but again, you'd have to deposit. You have to kind of have money to make money. If you deposited enough money to buy a vehicle for 72 ped when it's really, really cheap, and then when the price goes up and all of a sudden they're 400 ped, you've made a pretty good. It's just like any economy, you're making pretty good money on that. But then again, it's going to take you a while before that turns into real world money because it, you know, it's ped. It's one to ten. Ped. Yeah. So when you think about it, a vehicle, if I paid 72 ped for it, seven dollars and twenty cents is what I actually paid out of pocket. Hmm. But then if I sell it for four hundred ped, that's forty bucks. So you're you're doing okay. It's not something to make money off of though. Okay. That's my opinion. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend you try the game to make money. So then he asks about making gaining skills. When you're new to the game, what you want to do is you want to do basic stuff, stuff that you can do in the game without having to deposit. Because as soon as you want to, oh yeah, I want to go hunting, well, you need a gun. <laughs> well, you need ammo for that gun. Makes sense, right? So don't start off thinking like that. Start, so you've got a device that they give you to sweat. You've got these creatures that you can extract sweat from the creature, which can be refined into other things like mind essence. Do you play Hillary? <laughs> Hillary plays all the time, I, I can tell. She's can't like, say <laughs> I, never I can see her, and she's like... It's kind of like this. Just like that, people. <laughs> Just like that. Hillary, I'm so sorry. Make my love. him stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me. I was I'm trying to figure out Twitter. That's what I was doing. Oh, you're actually and then on I was Twitter overwhelmed. Now. Oh, Pardon? Good. So you registered on Twitter? I did, but I don't get how to do it. It's kind of confusing. You're gonna have so. to watch the show. It's just like information <laughs> overload, like perpetual. Right. Gotcha. There was an episode recently where, uh, where we, uh, Eric and I, I, I walked Eric through how to set up a Twitter account. You should probably check that out, Hal, because we kind of right. go over um, the basics of how how that works, how to follow somebody and stuff like that. So you're not just bombarded with everybody's tweets. I feel bombarded by everybody's how tweets. Find, yeah. How do I find you? <laughs> I'm just like following all these people just because. Oh yeah. So yeah. Hillary That's could that. be following you. Hillary, Maybe. What's, uh, can we uh, can we say on the air what uh, how we can follow you on uh, on Twitter? Yep, just Hillary Rumble. I think that's what I put. You think? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Like I said, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Hillary, I'm pretty sure Rumble. it's just Hillary Rumble. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. Hillary Rumble. So you know the rules with this. You don't want to post anything too identifying. Finally joining the bandwagon. Is this? I I feel like Twitter is information overload, and yet That's I'm intrigued me. by it. And yep. she's an orange huh. egg. You can now follow. I don't. <laughs> I wonder how Gordon Lightfoot feels I... about Twitter. <laughs> I'm an egghead. All right, Hillary. Well, we'll definitely uh, we'll follow you there, for sure. So that's okay. what she's doing as we're talking about Planet Calypso. Thanks, Hill. <laughs> All right. No. Oh, oh, I have an action here I can choose. I can block Hillary Rumble. You wouldn't want to do that. I can report her for spam. No. Okay. There we go. There we go. I just kind of, I find it cute that, you know, if we refresh after showing it on the air, all of a sudden there's people following. That's great. Everybody go follow Hillary. What's that? <laughs> I said hallelujah, but now yeah. I feel like I have to be interesting if people are going to be following me. You do have to be interesting, Hillary. Hey, pressure. <laughs> There's so much pressure on Twitter to be interesting. <laughs> if you are interesting, your, twe your tweets may be featured here on Category 5. Hillary, what do you feel about... Yeah, you uh, featured one of mine once. I did. <laughs> that was, <laughs> just, that be was nice. just beautiful. Hillary, do you, uh, do you feel like you're ready to... 
hit those news stories for us? Oh, yeah. yeah? I'm ready and right. coming at you right now from Category 5 TV Newsroom. Since the release of Ubuntu 10.10, Canonical continues to gain partner support. In a press release last week, Canonical, the commercial sponsor of Ubuntu, announced seven new software partners. New partners include Boxed Ice, OpsView, Riptano, Unoware, Vladster, WaveMaker, and Zend. According to the press release, Canonical software partners work closely with the development teams who deliver Ubuntu and thus ensure that installation and operation are of the highest quality. More information on Canonical software partners can be found on the Canonical website. Vancouver-based Hootsuite Media Inc. said yesterday that its popular application for managing Twitter accounts now has more than a, hun or a million users. Wow. The company says that most users are still largely using the application as a Twitter management tool, but it is being used across other platforms and networks as well, including Facebook, LinkedIn, and MySpace. Hootsuite offers team collaboration across social media platforms, scheduled updates, result tracking, and is free to use. You can take a look at the Hootsuite service by visiting Hootsuite.com. On October 31st, Sony announced proudly that 1 million PlayStation Move controllers had been sold in uh, the 30 days since its release. But their numbers are being blown away and out of the water by Microsoft's very cool Kinect device for the Xbox 360. 360, which has sold more than 2.5 million devices worldwide in only 25 days. With the Christmas season upon us, Microsoft is trying hard to keep up with more than uh, 60,000 vendors and keep them stocked by upping production and expediting shipment. If you haven't seen Kinect yet, it's probably better than you think it is. Utilizing a 3D video camera and an intelligent motion recognition software, the Kinect is able to put the players in the place of the controller using natural body movements to control the in-game characters. With the Kinect selling for only $150 and offering brand new gaming experience to Xbox 360 users, it's already well on its way to being one of the big movers this season. Get all these full stories at category5.tv slash newsroom. The category5.tv newsroom is researched by Roy W. Nash with contributions from Gadget Wisdom Guru, Becca Ferguson, and our community of viewers. If you have a news story that you think is worthy of honor or mention, send us an email at newsroom at category5.tv. For the Category 5 TV newsroom, I'm Hillary Rumble. Category 5 TV is brought to you in part by Planet Calypso. This massive multiplayer online game is available as a free download from cat5.tv slash calypso. Now once you've got it downloaded and installed on your Windows computer, make sure you say hi. And there's something for everyone here on Planet Calypso, from hunting to mining, crafting, and just plain socializing and having fun with your friends. You can download it for free at cat5.tv slash calypso. If you're a Linux user like myself, of course this makes it worth the dual boot. cat5.tv slash Calypso. I'll see you on Planet Calypso. This is Category 5 Technology TV, episode number 167. I'm your host, Robbie Ferguson. 167, and I am Eric Kidd. I am the co-host. Yes, indeed. I bring the coffee. I bring the... Super Andy Spyware pens. Brilliant. I asked the questions. I'm the good looking one. Oh. You're the furry one. <laughs> That's definitely not me. I'm the one who grows hair. Yeah. All right. I'm okay. the one who doesn't tweet much. So we're talking a little bit about Planet Calypso. And one of the questions that uh, the Lance Man had there was how can we meet up in game? And I've had this question come in by email. Okay, well. On Planet Calypso, which is available as a free download, cat5.tv slash Calypso. And uh, in that game, once you've got it installed and running on your computer, we can actually become a part of the Category 5 TV Viewer Society. And that allows us to do things together. We can, we can, I can basically come and teach you how to use the game effectively. We can just hang out. We can have a fun time. I've been known to uh, take people for drives, places where there's lots of creatures and things like that. Um, so... In order to, uh, to participate in the society of Category 5 TV, what you have to do once you have gotten through the new arrival zone 
you are going to teleport to a place called Port Atlantis. And once you get there, you'll see what's happening here is it's actually loading the level. That's why it's kind of jumping like that. Once it's loaded, now I'm in. So now I, what I want to do is I want to head... I'm going to actually show you where you want to go in order to get to the society terminal. And do feel free to explore the, uh, the universe uh, as much as you like. Uh, you'll usually see me hanging out in this area if I'm just socializing and, and uh, visiting people. I've never seen you run before. Never really. seen me run? That's exactly how I run. Just like that. <laughs> so you want to just keep on going this direction. I'm going to head up here. Uh, you see the sign. Uh, where we're heading is the social area. And we're going to be able to join that Category 5 uh, society. If you head left here, and look through these buildings, uh, the equipment building there, there's a bank around the corner. Uh, in the social area here, you're going to be able to join our society. And uh, once I see that your membership has been submitted to, uh, to our Category 5 TV Viewer Society, uh, then we'll actually be able to communicate in-game. You'll be able to press J once you've added me as a friend, and we'll be able to chat actually live in-game, meet up. You can tell, tell me where you are and I'll come get you or whatever we need to do. So over here, you'll see a society terminal, actually two of them. And if you right-click on that terminal and choose operate, or alternatively, of course, you could double click on the terminal. And what you can do is you can press C to jump to all of the societies that start with C. And because uh, there's a lot called Calypso, you're going to have to scroll through a couple pages and you'll see Category 5 TV viewers. Alternatively, what you can do is you can actually use that search box that you saw there and just type in, for example, Category 5. And when you hit enter, it's going to give you the one result, Category 5 TV viewers. And you can actually then follow the, uh, the prompts just point to uh, any of the uh, icons there and you'll see one that allows you to request membership to the society. Pretty straightforward as far as how to actually become a part of our society and then from there we're going to go on runs together and have a good time. Should be a lot of fun. Cat5.tv slash Calypso if you want to get in on that. Be Sounds be a lot of fun. Cool. It's good to see Jot again uh, in game. Haven't seen him in a while. I've never seen him. Hmm. He, he's in our otherwise. promo. He's in our promo. He was. He's the uh, the guy who comes walking up behind me. Oh, he didn't know that. I did not know that. Now you know. Jot's little thirty seconds of fame right there. All oh, right, thirty seconds in game. In game. Oh. <laughs> well, okay then. This is Category Five TV, and again, uh, if you're joining us for the first time tonight, this is not our usual format um, because of the fact that uh, <laughs> wow, while well, my family's grown, we, uh, my wife and I, well, my wife. Primarily, <laughs> gotta say that hey, my you wife did all had the, the work baby running around. Ah, what about you? Yeah. Really did. Yeah. Really was just like that. I'm still just like that, <laughs> and I can't believe these bags under my eyes because, like, the glasses kind of hide. But oh my! <laughs> Actually, Robbie, I think you've done a famous job. You've done a wonderful Thank you. job. Thank you. But it's still, it all it's still going. Yes. And we're here on a Tuesday night, and like I said earlier in the show, didn't think we were going to be able to make it tonight. Bless my sister. She called me up and said, can I come and put the kids to bed and watch the kids while you do your show? You said, oh, heavens, no. Eric well, I called, I called you earlier tonight to yeah. say, I don't think the show's going to go yeah. on. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. It was 5 o'clock. I was still cooking supper for everybody. And just madness. Definitely need more coffee, Chris <laughs> Wright. Thank you. Uh, I take it uh, with two cream. So. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Reminder, please register on our website, category5.tv, tonight. <coughs> I see a couple of registrations that are coming in. All right. Naples Critic, nice to see you. Uh, certainly, make sure you register tonight because then you will be eligible to, well, you will get those extra viewer points when we roll over our new site, and we are locking you down. Can tell them what they can win? Well, it's, it's going to be so vast. I mean, it could be anything from uh, DVD download. Uh, versions of Category 5, that's the basic stuff, like being able to get downloadable ISOs and things like that, being able to get uh, coupon codes for 15% off of particular products that we're working some deals with, uh, being able to win things like pogo plugs, uh, nano dots, uh, cool. printers. Uh, we are in talks with many, many companies to allow you to, to actually uh, win some cool stuff. Um, so those points are going to be kind of, you, you can accumulate them if you want, you can work to the point where you've got hundreds of points and then all of a sudden oh I really want a pogo plug 
So you, you spend all your points on pogo plug ballots. You could have 10 ballots, you could have 50 ballots. Well, and you're upping your chance of winning that prize. So, so it's, a, it's a really cool system. I think it's going to be uh, really exciting. So uh, do check for that. That is coming on the new website, category5.tv, which launches, launches <laughs> on January 1st. In the meantime, you're going to notice that uh, the old site, the current site, I should say, for the next month is going to become kind of uh, stagnant as far as that goes. We'll be posting just the new episodes and nothing more. The, the site is going to be slowly uh, replaced with the new site. And January 1st, we're going to flip that switch. If you're interested in becoming a part of our beta team, these are people who will be able to log in uh, during that one-month beta period from December 1st to January uh, 1st. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a part of that to be able to source us with ideas, tell us what you think, uh, tell us what works and what doesn't work and what we can do to improve it, uh, or if you even have the ability to, uh, to assist with some of the programming and things like that, uh, I'd love to talk to you. So drop me an email live at category5.tv and uh, we'll see what uh, what can be done that way. Cool. Okay, somebody, um, let's see. Pyro's Rock wants to know, okay. uh, other than this upgrade, how do you earn viewer points? There are many, many ways. Uh, for example, um, every day that you log in, you get a viewer point. Oh. So you go to category5.tv and you log in. Boom, you got a point. You click on a banner ad, you get a point. So there's all different things that you can do within the site. Every time you watch the show, you get a point. So it's, it's, it's really quite dynamic. It's pretty cool. And those points just continue to add up. So right off the bat, you're going to get a nice little, uh, little push as far as viewer points go. And down the road, there will be not only those ways of getting points, but also um, we'll be offering things like uh, prize giveaways where you can actually win a large number of points, which can be used against... Uh, anything you like. Can you take them to Calypso? Best Buy kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, there, I'm working on, um, you will be able to, hopefully, um, oh, really? do Calypso-based transactions using viewer points. So we'll see how that goes. Wouldn't that be cool? How would you like to have a hundred ped? There you go. Wow. Oh, boy. Craig in Texas is working on a Joomla site tonight. Yes. Very cool. Well, some folks were wondering if the new site would be a Joomla-based mm. site. The new site is going to be powered by uh, the latest version of Joomla, heavily modified and customized. Um, and uh, I'm not allowed to say too much because I put some restrictions on what I'm allowed to say. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. It's going to be a really exciting upgrade, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot to it. It's... Uh, if you are familiar with terms like Ajax or dynamic or social networking, then these are all things that uh, that are a big part of the new Category 5.tv. Alcat says, Robbie, the current site is very messy. So is my room. Well, I tell oh, you what. Sorry. Alcat, you start a show for your friends and a couple of a couple of customers and people like that and just put it online and then suddenly one weekend have 60,000 viewers from five. And then... What, you're saying <laughs> you're having trouble keeping up? Build from there. No, <laughs> but it was never... That site was never intended to be what it is, to be as big as it is. I think there's something like 20,000 articles on it. It's ridiculous. It has holes in it like nothing else, and I agree with you. It's it's confuzzling because there's so much stuff, and it's it's. I tried my best at the time to organize it, and it's like, well, it it was never intended to become what it was, what it is. Um, so now what we're saying, I finally put my foot down and I said, you know what? I know it's going to take a month to develop, so we're going to lock down the doors on the old site, and we're going to start really working hard on a new site. We're going to be building an incredible uh, website that's going to be much easier to use. It's going to have much more dynamic contents. Uh, we've got a new Flash player, Flash-based player, I should say, which is, uh, which is powering H.264 video playback. Everything on the site is going to be H.264, um, so we're looking at way better quality than the old FLV format videos, 
and uh, we're in the process of migrating all that. All of our RSS feeds are being redone uh, to be dynamic and uh, have a lot more features to them. And also to, uh, to free up time for us, for me in particular, where you know, every, people don't necessarily realize, but when uh, uh, a Tuesday night rolls around after the show, I'm spending hours setting up RSS feeds and getting the on-demand video working and stuff like that. So a big part of the new site is automating a lot of that process, hopefully freeing up probably about an hour, two hours each Tuesday night for me. Uh, which lets me dedicate time to other things, be it improving features on the site, writing uh, product reviews, things like that. Should be great. Testing some new vintage. That could be. Um, Gadwell's wondering mm -hmm. if those of us who are already in the beta, mm -hmm. or beta as you like to say, uh, do they still need to email? I'd love it if you would, just because I get so many email, and uh, <coughs> I'd love to have them all at once. And then what I'll do is I'll email everybody at once. Just kind of go through and copy copy and paste email addresses and BCC you all. That would just be helpful for me. So that would be great. Yeah, if you want to be a part of the beta team, even if you've already responded to me, pop me an email tonight. That'd be great. Gadget Wisdom Guru, the NAR new RSS system that I developed. It's fantastic. It's all database driven. Every episode, right now, every single RSS feed I have to manually create each feed for each week. Now it's all powered by a database, dynamically generated by a system that is hosted under a different hosting account. It's not going to pull from our main website as far as um, bandwidth and all that stuff goes. Live at, <coughs> pardon me, live at, ga oh, there, there it goes. Whack. Oh, slap me. Live at category5.tv is the email address to get me at uh, with regards to becoming a beta tester. That would be great. Or if you have questions, of course, that will be hopefully answered on next week's show. Things are going to be a lot different next week. We're going to be back to our normal format. And uh, yeah. I, th I think. <laughs> He's going to have if a full head If life goes back hair. to normal. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh. No, I'm going to have a little less hair next week, I okay. think, at this rate, for sure. Cool. Just watching the chat room here. Yeah. There was a question about why we haven't gone with Theora. I didn't catch who asked that, but truth is, I love Agamotto. Yeah, our motto. Agamotto, the 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 and Pyrus Rock asking about HTML5. I started developing under Theora and HTML5. Had a lot of problems with certain things with the codec, and it's nothing about the codec. It's about my needing to automate the entire process. My goal is to be able to make it so simple for me to be able to create each week's show as far as the content following the show goes. Once we broadcast, we have a recording. What happens to that recording? We have to convert it to the formats for all the RSS feeds, all of the, uh, the players and everything that goes out. Um, so how much work is that going to be depends highly on what formats we choose to distribute. Og Theora was, uh, was proving to be more work than the H.264, unfortunately, because I would much rather stick with an open format, I think you know that. Um, it, was, it was having some trouble. There were some lip synchronization issues and we tried. I tried. One day, maybe. At this point, H.264 is working perfectly. It's very, very um, good quality and everybody, I think, there's still a lot of respect for H.264 even in the open community. Just bec It's a good format, you gotta admit. Even though we'd probably rather look towards the future of HTML5. That could come. That, but I'll say, as well, in the whole redevelopment process, one of the key things that I've done is develop things to be very changeable. For example, with the RSS feeds, I said everything's powered by the same database. So if I decide, okay, we're going to change everything to Theora, all we have to do is just uh, run a script that will automatically create the Theora files on each WMV, say, for example and then um, it will automatically change all the RSS feeds because it's all powered by the same database. The system is one, one system. Very, very easy for us to change things. So that's what I wanted to do, <coughs> is make it so that, because right now, when we change a format, when we change something, I have to go back and recreate every single entry in an RSS file. And when you've got you know, almost 200 hours of video, 
that becomes a lot of work. So we're automating that whole thing. Cool. So I hope that, uh, that kind of clarifies why we have gone with the H.264. HTML5 is fantastic, but it does still require a compatible browser. And I do also want to take the, the show outside of the browser. You know that I've talked about uh, we were originally going to launch the, um, the desktop player, and where we got held up was Hog Theora, unfortunately. Pardon me. As much as I'd love to say it was a success. <laughs> <laughs> but H.264 is going to allow us to begin working on that desktop player again. Very cool. Gravy. You can win a uh, brand new printer from Brother Canada and Category 5 Technology TV. Visit our website, category5.tv, click on Interact, and at the bottom of that, you will see that uh, we uh, are giving away a printer for you. Multi-function center with all the, uh, all the stuff. Time, we started late, buddy. Oh, we did too. We did, remember? He's like, dude, you're out of time. Dude, you pronounced diaspora wrong. No, it was beta, beta. Mm. Tomato, tomato is what I... I get enough from the chat pipeline, room. Pipeline, I get enough of this from the chat room. Sorry, you didn't like that one? <laughs> Let's just start naming pastas. Or is it pasta? I'm going back to Pipeline. <laughs> Pipolini. Agamotto Chuckles. Indeed. Yes. And Atlas Shrugged. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to be able to bring the baby on the show. In the meantime, all that I have is pictures. I get the baby to ask the questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. Liam Daniel <laughs> Ferguson was born on Thursday night, 7.25 p.m. There he is. Ten pounds. Ten pound baby. Coach? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> My wife is a trooper. He's a beautiful babe. He's, you can't even, he's, he's quiet, he's good. I heard him. I heard, that I wasn't, heard that's, him. that's my nephew. Oh. Who's here, because my, my darling sister is here to, to watch the kids for us. Oh my goodness. Greg in Texas, our, our first son was 10 too. And, uh, and here Liam is, uh, is 10 pounds. And before that, Tally was seven. That's a pretty big trope. Tally was only seven pounds, I think six ounces or nine ounces. Oh. So under eight, eight pounds. So you can imagine my wife, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was a big baby too, so I think it's the boys in the family. <laughs> Actually, I've heard people say you're a big baby. Oh, I am a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. thanks for sticking it out with us tonight, everybody. I have no idea when we're at the one hour mark because we started late and I don't have my bring Tim here. No. Yeah. I, I bring Tim was used for timing contractions <laughs> for the first time in the history of bring Tim. <laughs> oh, that oh. baby cost me thirty dollars, according to bring Tim. <laughs> uh, people are googling the difference of uh, pounds what's a pound? And, what's a pound? Well, it's about 454 grams. What do you mean? He I paid, don't know what he, that is in he stone paid what? for you Brits out there, though. Google.ca for me, Google.com, or wherever you want to go. Ten pounds in stone kilograms. Ten pounds is four point five. I just told you this four kilograms. See how you do it in Google. Grams in a pound, so there'd be. Google, you can convert pretty much anything to anything. Yeah, but I, if I it's wanna, but but uh, the folks in in England. Uh, don't, don't they use stone? How, how do you weigh things in... How many Fortnites? There you go. They actually know. That's what is 10 stones? 0 in? 0.71 stone. Okay. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> What's that? Pyro's Rock wants to know if you've used Wolf from Alpha. I guess not. Apparently not. Not today. Not familiar with the uh, with what you typed there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, good times. <laughs> Email your questions to us this Sorry, week. Sorry, I'm chuckling at uh, Cadwell's yeah. Google, but I'll leave that. It's a lot home. of fun to join us in the chat room too, as you can tell from Eric's. <laughs> Sorry, I will. Try to pay attention to you instead of the <laughs> chat room. He's just like, what did you say? What was that about Planet Calypso? I have a question here from. <laughs> it's all good. Somebody uh, sort of asked, if, don't you just love the decimal version of an imperial system? And no, I don't. But the metric system actually is a pretty smart system. What just happened to this show? I said that it was going to be kind of weird tonight, but <laughs> how did this happen? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear me. Oh, my goodness. As I was saying, email us live at category5.tv if you'd like to get your question in on a normal broadcast. Next Tuesday night, we are going to be here. <laughs> and we have a special guest as well. Uh, coming very soon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A little, a little secret for you. We'll a talk, secret? We'll talk about that later. Should I be scared? No, no. No? Don't forget, register on our site, category5.tv. Last chance. We're yeah. locking it down for a month. If you're just getting here. And subscribe to our RSS feeds. My pen's dead. I can't make any notes. Thanks. What are you going to do now? I don't know, but I made a scribble with your yeah. pen. It didn't work. Yeah. That's. I, what do you got going on this week? We're off topic. Anyways. Well, I don't know. We were thinking maybe Liam could be our new guest host. Well, next week. Yeah. We'll okay. bring him on. Well, we'll try to bring him on. It's tough because I can't really go upstairs and get the baby and bring him down. And so. Hi, we'll just chat amongst ourselves for a few minutes while Robbie <laughs> yeah. runs away and gets the I thought about kid. it. I thought about it, and then I realized okay. I don't trust you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust me with the show. <laughs> I'd be doing the show notes that night and be all like, of a Whoa. sudden, All of a sudden, we'd be talking about hockey and beer and, <laughs> and, and Bushmills, Irish. Sorry. Uh, brilliant. Anything could happen. Anything. Anything could Except happen. Except that. Yeah. Webcam the baby for us, Chris Reg says. I, uh, I I would love to. Yeah. Right now I've just you know I've snapped, I've snapped a couple of pictures. It's it was tough to get a lot of pictures of the baby because I was I was very much involved in the in the birth and so it was it was different this time around. Three babies. This is our third. And and besides that, Becca said if you snap one more shot, I'm gonna <laughs> no sorry. I promised her I'd only take good good photos. <laughs> It was just nice photos of the baby and stuff. It was neat. So. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to, Chris, for sure. And thanks for being with us this week. Um, <laughs> I'd love to see you on Planet Calypso. I have not logged in since I've been home. I literally have been uh, just going. Just wow. going. I'll get there, though. I think I'm back to work on Thursday. Well, Chris Reich uh, wants to know if Christy will be blessing us with a baby soon. <laughs> She's all married up and stuff now. Talk, huh? talk to her about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, a hey out to our uh, former news person. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's getting excited about uh, about the radio station. I was doing radio. Today. Yeah, yeah. Going to radio. I guess they're cool. they're doing the Christmas music right now, and so that gives her a bit of a break, and so she's enjoying a couple of days off. Very so nice. That's kind of nice. If she's watching, hey. Nice to see John's you. taking the day off too. I actually gave John the day off because I did make the calls. I said we're not going to be able to go live tonight. Yeah. And, then, and look and at then how then content after. rich this show was. Thanks, Eric. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry we didn't get to your email. Sorry we didn't get to your questions in the chat room. Here's another email. Okay, there we go. We'll read. <laughs> it's like just make up a show, you know. It's just like okay, today we're going to be reviewing that. It's just a all right. A little uh, this converts RCA quarter inch quarter inch uh, phone jack to RCA. To RCA. It's brilliant. Very nice. I was going to get into the Have male weekend, female right. part of that, but we'll leave that. Alone. We'll leave that alone. Have a great week, and uh, <laughs> thanks well, for I have a out. week. Have just, a great just week. Just have a week. That's it. We're done. We We're made done? it through. We made it through. I'm Eric Kid. This is our wonderful and talented, lovely and talented Robbie Ferguson. I'm tired. Yes. And exhausted. Mr. Mum, Robbie, have a great week. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>